Hello, and welcome back to my channel. So I realized this morning that I hadn't posted in a while, and so I would thought I thought I would uh, jump on today and film sort of a quick reading update type of video. I don't have any proper video prepared for you today. I don't have any tags to do. Um, I know it would be Tag Tuesday traditionally uh, here on BookTube, and so I thought I would just do a quick reading update, show the books that I'm currently um, reading, and sort of my my plans for for this upcoming week. Uh, so currently I have two books that I am reading. Uh, the first is uh, Chernobyl by uh, Siri Plokey. I'm really enjoying this one. I am almost done. I, I have under a little under 100 pages left, so I'll, I'll be finishing this today um, and then hopefully getting a video put out for this book. Incredibly um, researched, incredibly presented. It's been um, um, incredibly insightful um, as well. I realized you said incredibly three times. Um, but I, I've been really enjoying this one. And then the second one that I have been reading um, is A Designated History of Ukraine. It is this beast of a book here. Um, this is uh, Ukraine History, the fourth, edi um, fourth edition by Oris Subtelny. I really, I really hope I'm saying his name correctly. I literally just lost my spot. Man, I have to go find that. Um, but this is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's an entire history of Ukraine um, from the, the, the beginning of essentially recorded time for that region up until the uh, current day of publication for this fourth edition, which I believe um, it was the mid 90s for this fourth edition. Um, just looking here. Um, no, early 2000s, so 2009. So up until 2009, incredibly detailed, incredibly uh, well uh, researched and well presented. It is definitely uh, leaning toward the academic side rather than the popular history side. It's a bit dry, um, but I don't mind that. I, I almost prefer that for a book of this caliber when it's something that is dealing with such a long um, history of a country. It's dealing with so many changes of power. It's dealing with so many key players, so many locations, so many um, d disputes different battles, um, different government transactions. I, I sometimes want that to be a, li a little bit more factual and less um, human interest side, just to be able to get the story down and then go and find tons of the other more popular history um, style nonfiction books that are available um, for different, uh, for those subcategories more broken out. Um, whereas this presents everything in one giant um, chunk of a book amazing really enjoying this one again um i have a lot to go on this one it's about 800 pages i'm i just passed a uh, hundred pages um but when i do end up finishing this one i'm sure i will be talking about this i mean i'll give it it's a, a whole video because that might take way too long um but i certainly will be um talking about this one in the future just because i'm enjoying it so much um i need to get a copy of this for myself this is a library edition um, I, I can only find editions of this online for between 50 and $70. Um, and so I have my eye on a couple used copies and I'm hoping that maybe the price will go down um, and that I can pick one up uh, because this is certainly one that I would love to see sitting on my shelf in the future. Um, so those are my two current reads uh, that I have going on at the moment. Um, I have also finished two uh, Jane Austen novels. I just finished reading Northanger Abbey and Mansfield Park both for Jane Austen July. I am still letting those sort of um, sit on, um, sit in my mind, I'm thinking about them, sort of getting my full thoughts put together about them, and then there will be a video. I think I'll do a joint video uh, probably closer to the end of the month, and I'll just do an overarching Jane Austen July, what I read uh, for the month, because I, I'm still planning on reading Emma and Pride and Prejudice, and then I will have read all of Jane Austen's novels. And so I thought maybe I would wait until the end of the month and then do a Jane Austen July recap sort of video and talk um, sort of all together about the uh, Jane Austen novels that I've read this month and my opinions on some of her, on all of her other novels that I have read not this month but in the past um, and just have sort of a, a Jane Austen dedicated video. I think that might be kind of interesting. Um, and, that, and that's all I have for today. I just, uh, like I said at the beginning, I didn't have any proper video prepared. I just wanted to sit down and record something super casual. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a comment if you feel like uh, leaving one, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.